Hi everyone and welcome. So maybe your boss came to you and said, how much is this gonna cost to run an AWS? Or maybe just for your own personal projects, you wanna know how much something's gonna cost to run an AWS. So in this video, I'm gonna walk you through the basics of that, how we can create an estimate based on the services we need, how long we need them, different pricing options, and so on. This is the AWS pricing calculator at calculator.aws. This is a public site available to the whole world, so you don't even need an AWS account to use it. Just navigate here and get started. So we'll click on Create Estimate. And incidentally, this calculator has been through a few iterations. There used to be one called the Total Cost of Ownership Calculator, or TCO. There was also a simple monthly calculator, just in case you see those referenced in the documentation anywhere. But everything's been rolled up into this, and so this is the place you want to go. The services that are available are different by region, and costs are also different by region as well. So it's usually a good idea to select that here rather than just searching for everything globally. But if you don't know your region, you could use this option. But we'll go by location type. I'll choose my region here. I'll just stick with Ohio, and then we'll search for a service. So let's say we need some EC2 instances. Those are basically virtual servers in AWS. And here we go. Amazon EC2, and we'll choose Configure. Now for all of these services, there's a lot of different specifications, a lot of different customization you can do. I'm not gonna to get too into the weeds, but as we go along, you'll see there's a lot of ways you can customize this to your exact use case. Keeping things simple though, we'll go with a shared tenancy, meaning that you're not getting any sort of dedicated hardware or hosts. We'll say this is constant usage, if you know that you get daily spikes or weekly spikes or something like that, you can price those in. And maybe for this project, we think we'll need four instances. So I'll enter that. And then for the types of instances, here again, there's tons of options. You'll see over here, 56 different pages of things that I could scroll through. This link here though, the info link is super handy. If you're not familiar with all of the different instance types, come and reference them here. I'm just gonna go with something general purpose something like the T2 instances, but obviously there's a lot of other things here you could choose as well. And then maybe I need something with four virtual CPUs, 16 gigs of memory, and this looks good. So we'll go with the T2 extra large back in our calculator, and I can filter that here. So T2 extra large, select that. There are different payment options available and these can be a good way to go if you're planning on doing something long-term. You kind of have an idea of what you need. So the compute savings plan, the instance savings plans, and spot instances will all give you some nice savings. Again, you sort of need to know ahead of time if these make sense for you. If you're just doing a small side project for yourself, you probably just want to go with the on-demand option. There's no discounts here, but it's super easy to spin up and then spin down the instances, and then there's no more charges for you. So I'm just gonna go with that, even though it is the most expensive option, you'll see a comparison here based on the four instances that I've entered above. And then scrolling down, there's some additional things here you can configure as well, like the Elastic Block Store, basically the hard drives for your instances. We'll just stick with general purpose, but there are things that are optimized for IOPS or throughput. But I'll just leave all the defaults here, and then we will say save and add service. And then down here at the very bottom, this is the estimate so far based on what we've added. With my four instances, this is gonna run me about $541 US dollars per month, and then I've got the 12 month cost as well. Okay, so we have compute. Let's say we need to add a database now. Maybe a NoSQL option, we'll go with DynamoDB. Here we go, key value, configure. And then we've got all the options for this as well. I'll just stick with the defaults that it's giving us here. Standard table class. For storage, let's just take a wild guess and we'll say 500 gigs of storage. You can also do terabytes if you have larger storage needs. And then lots of other settings that you can configure here. We'll just keep it simple. Scroll down, save and add service. So you'll continue like this, adding things like object storage, maybe load balancers, maybe domain names from Route 53, whatever service you need for your solution, and then view summary to see the full estimate. Here's a breakdown of the services that we've added. So EC2, DynamoDB, what the cost will be monthly, and then we get the total 12 month cost as well. 
And you can come in and edit these. You can also add additional services from here and so on. That was a really quick run through, but hopefully that gives you an idea of how you can use this calculator to get cost estimates for your AWS projects. If you found this helpful, I'd appreciate a thumbs up on the video and also consider subscribing for more content like this. Thank you so much for watching.